Thank you for taking the time to listen to this presentation on our ACS middle school class trips. The point of this presentation is to communicate to parents what the St. Augustine trip and the Washington DC trip will be like. Mr. Kemp was able to attend both trips last year and that experience was one of his favorite memories from the year. Trips are an opportunity for students to experience learning outside of the classroom. They read information in books and watch videos about certain places, but being there is completely different. I remember on my senior trip, I went to China and was able to walk on the Great Wall, and that is an experience that I will never forget. So let's answer the question, why trips? The answer to that question is threefold. Number one, the educational experience. Like I said before, I learned more about the Great Wall and the city of Beijing by being there than anything I had read in a book or heard from my sister who had been there before. I had heard other people talk about Beijing, so I was interested, but seeing it in person was incredible and unforgettable. These students have heard stories about some of the information they will experience on these trips, but that information will come alive when they see it in person. There will be educational expectations that will be discussed with the teachers and chaperones as we get closer to the trips. One idea is for students to take pictures and create a video that they will incorporate into a group presentation when they return. Number two is social experience. The students will be together 24 seven, which may be what they enjoy the most. Last year, the students had a great time on the bus, at the restaurants and in the hotel. It also creates an opportunity for teachers to interact with students in a more laid back environment. Again, from my experience, these trips last year were a great opportunity for me to connect with students. Number three, spiritual experience. Each night on the trip, chaperones will lead students through intentional devotions. Mr. Gibbs and myself, in connection with the middle school staff, will create three sessions that all students will go through. The intention of these devotions are to model Bible study to our students in different ways and give teachers a chance to listen to, pray with, and connect with students in a small group setting. Here's some common information for both the sixth and eighth grade trips. Transportation. The cruiser, which is the school's tour bus, has just had a new motor put in. The body of the cruiser is also being redone, and Mr. Cummings has communicated to me that he intends to have the cruiser ready for trips. If that is the case, we will use the cruiser for transportation, which would be a much more comfortable trip. If we have more students than will fit on the cruiser, we will take the shuttle bus, which is also a comfortable bus. The number of students who commit to go on the trip will determine how many buses we will need to take. If the cruiser is not finished in time, we will take the most reliable school buses in the fleet, which is what we did last year. Communication. Students will have multiple opportunities throughout each day to communicate with you. If you need to communicate to your students in case of an emergency, we ask that you contact the school as you would in a normal situation and the school will contact Mr. Kemp. Mr. Kemp will send regular updates that will be sent out by Mrs. Hayes. We do not want our students on their phones when they can be experiencing St. Augustine in Washington, DC. Lodging. We will be staying in hotels in both St. Augustine and Washington, DC. We are changing the room situation slightly as to make a more comfortable situation and a more safe situation. We will be hiring an off-duty police officer to monitor the hallway in which our students will be staying. Teachers will be in their own bed and rooms amongst the students. Teachers will have two to three rooms that they are responsible for and will be with those students until lights out. Myself or one lead female teacher who will have a key to each room so that we can check in if the police officer hears students awake and loud after lights out. I believe this will ensure that all students and teachers are safe and well rested for these very physically demanding trips. Spending money. Students will need some spending money for meals, souvenirs, and snacks if they choose. There will be specific meals that will be the student's responsibility. Those details will be communicated in the month leading up to the trip. Chaperones. Chaperones are chosen based on a few criteria. These teachers will be teachers who teach students who are taking the trip, teachers who teach a content area that brings knowledge to the trip, and teachers who have experience taking that specific trip in the past. So let's look at the specific trips. St. Augustine is the oldest continually occupied city in America. The city was originally a Spanish colony. We typically begin the trip with our tour of historic St. George Street, where the students experience reenactments from the time period of the first settlement. One evening, we will visit the Pirate Museum, where the students see and hear historical facts about pirates. It's quite the experience. One of the first days, we tour Ripley's Believe It or Not Museum, then go to the Fountain of Youth. There are students see demonstrations of 17th century cannon and rifles being fired. 
They see how blacksmiths created nails and basic tools that would have been used to build their homes. They also get to take a drink from the Fountain of Youth. The next full day of touring is done at Kennedy Space Center. It is amazing. Some of our teachers talk to the students about the space race, which brings a new appreciation to the Space Center. You see actual shuttles and watch films related to that amazing period in American history. Now I want you to watch a quick video from last year's sixth grade trip. Washington, D.C. trip is ACS's longest running trip. Mr. Cummings told me about his middle school trip and how he still remembers details from his experience in D.C. as a young person. The D.C. trip is packed from morning to evening. Mr. Kemp's experience last year was very abnormal and hopefully will be recreated this year due to six inches of snow on their first day of touring. What will happen this year is tours of monuments and some fun activities in the evenings. The days will be filled with trips to Arlington National Cemetery, and they've also requested a tour of the White House. Those are approved or denied closer to the time of the event. We will tour Mount Vernon, the Capitol Building, the Marine Museum, and the Museum of the Bible. We will also see several of the Smithsonian Museums. We have a tour guide for the sixth grade trip and the eighth grade trip, which will bring a deeper knowledge of these cities and their history. Mr. Kemp believes that this will bring an even better experience for our students. Let's take a look at last year's eighth grade trip. Thank you. 